As screen design becomes more interactive, prototyping has become more essential to the overall process. If you've been using Photoshop up until this point, there's a good chance that your projects look something like this. Multiple screens spanning multiple documents, I know I'm guilty of that. And if you are one of the few who took advantage of using artboards, it's still very difficult to imagine your designs in action. Many designers, including myself, have started to hand off Photoshop designs to Adobe XD in order to bring them to life. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. If you want to follow along, feel free to grab the project files included with this tutorial. Here we have a document containing various screens for a travel app, which was originally designed in Photoshop, but through the power of brilliant engineers, I was able to open it directly in XD to continue my work. To get a better understanding of how the app will feel to interact with, we're going to wire it up. And to start that process, let's hop into the prototype mode, which looks very similar to our design view, but we're now able to select the individual elements that we want to trigger something. To start off simple, the second icon on the nav bar at the bottom should lead a user to this discover screen to the right. When I select that icon, a blue handle appears, which I can then drag to any artboard I want to transition to. And when I land on one, this window pops up, offering a few options for my transition. Since we chose an individual element and not an entire artboard, tap is the only trigger that's available to us. For the action, we want to switch to an entirely different screen, so we'll keep this at transition. The destination was auto-set when we dragged the handle, but if you need to change it later on, you can do that right here. Next, we want to choose how the new screen will appear. We have basic animations like None and Dissolve, but that's no fun. I want the Discover screen to appear from the right, so I can either choose Slide or Push Left. The difference is that Slide overlaps the previous artboard when animating, while Push, well, pushes it aside. Let's go with Push. The easing options below will dictate whether or not the transition is linear or has a slight weight, either at the beginning, end, or both. Since the new screen is coming into display, an ease out should look quite nice. Now, how fast do we want it to appear? I don't want users waiting around forever, so I'll set it around 0.2 seconds. Finally, since I want the new screen to start at the top, even if I'm scrolling on the current screen, I want to keep preserve scrolling disabled. Great, let's test this out. Hitting the play button will launch the desktop preview, where I can now click on the discover icon, and it will beautifully push over but we can't get back. Let's fix that. On the Discover page, we want to make sure that the arrow at the top left takes us back to the previous artboard. This time, instead of dragging the handle to the home screen, I'm simply going to click on it and then make sure that previous artboard is selected as the action. Now, when I preview the prototype again, the icon takes us to the Discover page and then the arrow takes us back. And it even keeps the same animation, but reverses it. Pretty neat. Let's do a few more. Still on the Discover screen, tapping on the search box should open up the suggestions. So making sure that it's selected, I'll drag the handle over to this screen, but instead of any fancy animations, I want it to just appear. So I'll select none this time. Now we seem to be missing something. A keyboard. I actually grabbed this one from one of the free UI kits, which you can find under the file Get UI Kits menu, and I have it over here to the side in its own artboard. This is the perfect opportunity to not only use an overlay, but a timed overlay. When selecting an entire artboard in prototype mode, you'll now notice the blue handle over to the right. This time, after dragging it to another artboard, I have the option for a timed trigger. So once the search results appear, it will then trigger the next screen after the delay, and in this case, it'll be zero seconds. But since I don't want the search results to disappear completely, I need to set the action to overlay. This will allow the keyboard to appear over top of the existing artboard, and it can choose exactly where it should land by dragging the green handle in the center. I'll snap it to the bottom of the screen, and then set the animation to slide up. It's time for another preview. I'll first click on the home screen to start from the beginning. The icon leads to the discover page, then clicking on the search box reveals suggestions and also pops up the keyboard from the bottom. Fantastic. To finish up, I'm going to also link the boarding pass button over to this artboard to the left, making sure to select overlay and turn off any animations. Now when that button is pressed, it'll reveal the barcode and clicking on it again will hide it. And just like that, our once flat designs have sprung to life. In the next video, we're going to take a look at how you can share these with your clients and make sure your developers can access the assets they need.